Milan Fintech Summit 2022. We are here together with Alexander Prot, uh, who is uh, co-founder and CEO at Conto. Thanks for being with us. Very happy to be with you. Hi, everyone. So uh, since January 2022, you are a unicorn. What does it mean for you to be a unicorn? So indeed, uh, Conto became uh, officially a unicorn um, in, in January 2022 when we announced our uh, last funding round, uh, so Series D, which was 486 million euro, which is the exact number. Uh, I think it's a, it's a nice milestone, of course, uh, but more than the number and like the, the valuation, what is really important is like the, the journey. Uh, we uh, started Conto about five years ago with my co-founder, Steve, because we wanted to make it easy for entrepreneurs and small businesses to run their finances across Europe. Uh, we started five years ago in, in France and then expanded to Italy, Spain, and Germany uh, about two and a half years ago. Uh, and so this uh, unicorn status is very much thanks to uh, our clients who love the product, uh, who keep on you know, uh, using and loving the product and recommending the product. We're now serving more than 300,000 small businesses across Europe. And so we're very, very proud that uh, we have, you know, all these clients that we're helping on a daily, on a daily basis. And so uh, that, uh, that unicorn status is a good uh, recognition for the, you know, for the, the, the work that our team members are doing on a daily basis to, to help those uh, small businesses. We now have uh, more than 900 people on the team in our five offices in uh, Milan, uh, Paris, Berlin, Barcelona, and Belgrade. And so uh, I think everyone is quite proud of this uh, unicorn status, but more like it's uh, one milestone on the journey and we have uh, many more things to, uh, to, to do uh, in, the, in the coming years. So um, that's a ni nice way to, you know, to see we've, uh, we've already quite, uh, quite grown quite a bit, but there is uh, still a lot to do. An extraordinary growth and uh, building on what you are telling us. Uh, also, in these interviews, uh, someone uh, said us that fintech could be the next engine of innovation and also helps uh, um, companies to go out from the crisis that we are living in this moment. So uh, how is important, uh, also starting from your point of view, to simplify the processes and help companies in the financial solutions and services? Yeah, of course. I mean, small businesses, small and medium businesses represent about 50%, so half of the gross domestic product in Europe. And they represent even more because it's about two thirds of the labor market of the jobs. So by helping small businesses, small and medium businesses be more efficient, more agile, uh, and also from the, from the start, from the incorporating uh, of these small businesses, uh, we're, you know, hoping to boost uh, economy and society in, in general. And that's what we've been seeing, you know, in the past five years. So before COVID, it started. But then, it, of course, it's even more important since the, the, the COVID uh, episode, if I may say, because uh, now, you know, being online, having uh, online tools, being able to uh, communicate with your clients, your suppliers, etc., uh, on, a, on a digital, uh, you know, with digital tools is not really important or good anymore. It's essential, it's vital. So it's really important for SMEs to be also using those tools. And so with Conto, we're helping uh, small businesses uh, be you know, more digital, more online, more independent as well. Uh, and uh, and we, we did a survey a couple of months ago and our clients were saying that on average, they are saving two hours per week of uh, finance uh, management and you know um, and administrative work when they use Conto and that's exactly the kind of thing we we want to do we want to help those small businesses spend more time with their clients with their products and less time working on finance or admin stuff uh, and uh, and so that's uh, that's definitely what we're you know we'll keep on working on that we started by helping them on their uh, everyday banking you know an account transfers cards and so on and now we do more and more things to help them like e-invoicing in Italy, which is, a, of course, a big, big, uh, big point. Bookkeeping and accounting are also like big breaks we're working on, uh, either uh, ourselves or together with some partners. We're integrating some accounting software on Conto, for instance, to make it even easier, even faster to grow, to develop, to start a business uh, everywhere in Europe. And according to this, uh, what do you think... Uh... Uh, is uh, the, the most important challenge that SMEs uh, have to face uh, for growing and also adopting uh, the fintech solution like yours? 
Well, I think that the challenge is that uh, there are lots of um, there are lots of tools. Uh, there has been lots of uh, fintech innovation, which is great, but sometimes uh, SMEs or small businesses are a bit lost because there is so much. Uh, so, so much products, so much services out there. And so one thing we're now really focused on at Conto is really to integrate uh, different tools, different products, different services on Conto and connect them well so that instead of going to the five or 10 different websites or five or 10 different products, uh, our clients can have everything under one roof with Conto. And so we're connecting, we're integrating using very much open banking, uh, PSD2, so the uh, Permanent Services Directive number two, to make sure uh, they have you know one uh, one uh, clear uh, spot with Conto to manage all their finances on a daily basis. And under the technological point of view, uh, what will be the the future, the next steps, the trends to monitor in order to improve more and more your business uh, and help companies? Well, I think there's uh, there is still a lot to do with uh, um, you know open banking. We've been talking a lot about open banking the last couple of years, but it, I think it's still the very early days. So account aggregation, payment in initiation from you know uh, the different account will be a very big topics I think in the in the next few uh, few years. Also, the integrations between the different verticals. So let's say banking, accounting. There's still a lot to do there because uh, in the end. We want to make it easy for clients, for small businesses, you know, to get started and to run their finances and their admin on a monthly basis. And we know we need to be connected with, again, accounting, but also with, uh, for instance, payroll services. Because if you're a small business owner, you have to do your accounting, you have to pay your employees, you have to issue pay slips and so on. And all this needs to be connected. So I think connecting all these services is a big uh, is a big thing for the next uh, next couple of years. And then, of course, you have some new technologies coming up. Uh, or being more like more and more, let's say, um, uh, operationalized like blockchain. Uh, and I think there's lots of things coming there. Uh, but I think it's going to take probably you know five, ten years to 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 get there. It's still like very early to be really democratized, let's say, for for all small businesses. And this is a, a really good point of, because for democratization of the credit access and uh, financial process is one of the most important points for the future. Thank you for being with us. Thanks a lot.